Hello Booktube, I'm Jonathan and welcome to Words in Time. Now in today's video we're going to be talking about Project Hail Mary by Andy Weir, author of The Martian, one of my favourite sci-fi books. So what is the premise for Project Hail Mary? Well our main character, Rylan Grace, wakes up with memory loss. He can't even remember his own name and based on his surroundings he appears to be on some kind of space mission and something must have gone wrong. Now, as he familiarizes himself with his surroundings and starts problem solving, he also starts to recall events from his past. And it's through these recollections that he starts to remember how he got here and what's at stake. So the first thing I wanted to talk about was how similar or different this really is to The Martian. Because some of the early reviews that I first heard of Project Hail Mary were that it was pretty good, but it was a bit of a repeat of The Martian. But then throughout the year, I saw a few people putting it on their best reads of the year list and saw that it had a crazy high rating on Goodreads. It's currently at 4.53, which is absolutely bonkers. So I was excited to read it and compare the two for myself. The short version is, I think there are enough similar qualities that if you like The Martian, I think there's a pretty good chance you're going to enjoy Project Hail Mary too. But for me, there were enough new ideas, new sci-fi concepts that I still felt like I was reading something different. Some of the similarities include the first person storytelling, the rhythm and pacing of the plot, and the main character using science in order to solve their problems. Uh, some of the differences are the sci-fi tropes and ideas are somewhat new, I think those have changed, and I think the scope of Project Hail Mary is much, much larger. I'd say that the main characters of Mark Watney and Rylan Grace are somewhat similar, but I think Grace is definitely a bit less crass and a bit less sarcastic, which may or may not be to your taste. In regard to the plot, I think the pacing in this book is great. It might be in part due to the fact that this is a large print by Random House edition, but I was blowing through these pages. I was reading large chunks at a time because the ending to almost every chapter is just so, so juicy. I just kept on wanting to find out more and continue the adventure. I think in regard to the second half of the book, The Martian comparatively might have done a little bit better of a job of keeping the energy up, but at the same time, Project Hail Mary was focusing on some other aspects that I also found really interesting. It is a little hard to talk about this book spoiler free, uh, but around 200 pages it does introduce some new ideas and concepts that I think take the book to some new and interesting places. And I do think there are some pretty exciting and interesting reveals towards the end. The next thing I wanted to talk about was the science. Now sometimes in sci-fi books you don't necessarily need to understand the science. For example, The Expanse doesn't spend a lot of time explaining the Epstein drive. We just know it what enables spaceships to accelerate the way they do. However, in Project Hail Mary, Grace is faced with mathematical and scientific problems that he uses mathematics and science to solve. I think if you like science, you're gonna love this book. I think if you're less interested in the science, there's still a pretty good chance you're going to like this book because for the most part, that science does feel pretty relevant to the plot. There are only a few little sections that felt a bit info dumpy to me. Now, I don't read a lot of fantasy, but I'm going to go a little rogue here and give you a bit of a fantasy analogy. To me, Andy Weir describing the science was a little bit like a fantasy author describing their magic system. It might slow the pace down just a little for a page or two, but to me it was really interesting and added to the experience. Is it cooler in fantasy because it's magic? Yeah, probably, but the science in this was still pretty cool to me too. I'll give you a small example from the book. Why do humans hear the frequencies that they do? Why not higher? Why not lower? Well, sounds such as footsteps, leaves rustling, scratching, they all occur within a certain range and human life evolves to either help hunt its prey or avoid its predators. So it makes sense that we evolve to hear sounds within those ranges of objects interacting. So just little cool things like that I found to be really interesting and the way Andy Weir weaved those into the narrative I found to be super impressive. Moving on to the characters, I've talked a little bit about Grace but he was a character that I definitely liked. 
he was someone that I found could be a little bit immature or stubborn at times, but was still someone that I cared about and I was definitely rooting for. There's another character in the book called Strat, and she's an authority figure connected to the space mission, and I thought she was fantastic. There were times when I liked her, times when I didn't like her, but either way, I always found she had a very strong perspective. And she's definitely not a funny character, but there are a couple of lines that she delivered that did make me laugh out loud. And there are a, a, several more characters that I would like to talk about, but I'm not going to for spoiler reasons, but I will say that I became deeply connected to them. And it's because of those characters that I think Project Hail Mary reached emotional heights that was even higher for me than in The Martian. And one of those characters also delivered one of my all-time favorite lines of dialogue. If you have read the book, get down in the comments, tag it with a spoiler warning, and have a guess as to what you think that line is. I want to see if anyone guesses it, and I want to hear some of your favorite lines from the book as well. So overall, what did I think of Project Hail Mary? Well, the prose might not be as poetic, and the themes might not be as heavy as something like Hyperion by Dan Simmons, one of my other favorites, but I don't think that matters when Weir executes what he set out to do so incredibly well. I think the story is fantastic, the ideas are interesting, I cared about the characters, I believed what was happening, and I was invested in the outcome. Andy Weir absolutely sticks the landing with this one, guys. I'm gonna have to give Project Hail Mary a 10 out of 10. It's a 10 out of 10 and a jazz hands from me. Uh, if that doesn't make sense, read the book and find out. I can't recommend it enough, and I think I would recommend this to pretty much any sci-fi reader. I think if you're newer to sci-fi, I think you're gonna be able to read it and enjoy it, and I think if you're a pretty heavy sci-fi reader, there's gonna be a lot for you to enjoy as well. Absolutely believe the hype. Get on the hype train for Project Hail Mary. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be in my top reads of the list year. Uh, video at the end of the year. I would be gobsmacked if I read 10 books that I enjoy more than this one, but hey, that would be a pretty cool thing to have happen. So uh, stick around for the end of the year. We'll see how high it places. And there you go. That's Project Hail Mary. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe because as always, there's more sci-fi content coming soon.